What's up, y'all? It's Norm. It is November 25th, 2017. This is our update on the persecuted church around the around the world. This from Christian News Network. Six Christians facing false charges, two of them beaten by police, were jailed for a month for praying for a sick woman in eastern India, they said. After tribal Gandhi villagers in Simdega district, Jharkhand state, attacked the Christians on September 16th, officers at the local police station refused to listen to the victims and hit two young men among them, 25-year-old Shajin Mahi and Kalender Mashi. 20, they said. The police hit Sahin Maji and Kalender Maji repeatedly, said one of those arrested, 35-year-old Dasarath Karketa. They didn't give us a chance to speak. If they, if they inquired of us, we would have explained what happened exactly, but they didn't. Instead, they scared, scarred the face of Kalender Mahi. He bled also. The police beating followed the thrashing the Christians received from Hindu extremists in Gorshra village who attacked them while they were praying for healing for the wife of Bikrumahi, sources said. Officers jailed the Christians and charged them with, quote, promoting enmity between classes, unquote, and insulting religion. They spent a month in jail before being released on bail. We spent one month in jail joyously. We sang hymns, read the Bible, prayed, and worshipped together in jail, Karketa said. We shared the gospel with other inmates in the district jail. There also, people came to Christ. We strongly felt the Lord was asking us for his work and were happy about it. Karketa, the two young the two young men, and James Ba, 30, Balmuni Kumari, 19, and Jagdish Mahi, 50, went to the home of Bikru Mahi after he asked them to pray for his wife, Nitu Devi, sources said. Bikru Mahi heard our testimonies. Karketa said he was amazed at how I got healed and wanted prayers for his wife. Um... So, again, these, these six Christians go to pray for a man's wife. Um, the Hindu extremists come in, beat them. They take them to the police. The police beat them more. Um, so, again, and they're charged, kept in jail. It's a, almost an encouraging story of uh, joy and worship during persecution. Um, but these are things that go on. Every day, all around the world, our brothers and sisters, because of their faith in Christ, are persecuted for their faith. So let's keep these six Christians in our prayers um, and continue to pray for all of our persecuted brothers and sisters around the world. And as always, preach the gospel at all times. Use the words. Use words that are necessary. And until tomorrow, Soli Deo Gloria.